hello guys what is going on techroom uk here so for today's video we have uh, the elgato face cam this is one of the best webcams available right now they got another version that just came out the 4k one this is the full hd 1080p 60 fps one so this is the box for it as you can see right here we got uh, elgato logo face cam premium full hd webcam ces innovation awards 2022 honoree um, some specs on the front as well so some features so full hd 1080p 60 fps uh, low latency uncompressed video studio quality optics on the side we got some more features and some more specs so um, true hd 60 quality ultra low latency sony stravis simo sensor and anti-reflective all glass lens 82 degree field of view which is uh, quite wide but i think in the software we can zoom in and out of and uh, you can pick your field of view so in the box in the box we have the face cam itself privacy cap mount with uh, a thread for tripod mount detachable usb c cable and a quick start guide let's have a look on the back it can do raw video it's got uh, memory inside it so once you set up the settings for this you can actually save it in the webcam so next time you unplug it and plug it to a different device it will already have the settings that you previously applied on it which is quite clever true hd at 60 fps uh, state of the art sony sensor uh, we got some system requirements uh, here as well windows 10 intel or amd cpu mac os with uh, intel or apple cpu and you need usb 3.0 or higher so you need a you need a, a free usb slot on your device uh, technical specification uh, that's a lot of them we're not gonna go we're not gonna go into that now but i will uh, zoom in a bit closer just in case you're interested so it tells you that it supports 1080p 720 520 at different fps focal length aperture and so on you can set that in their uh, software so yeah this is the box for it it just came a few days ago i didn't got the chance to open it so uh, let's go ahead and open this camera up and see what we actually get inside so after opening the box this is what we get we get a quick start guide with uh, pictures technical specification it tells you step by step how to use it how to mount it what it can do and so on we got a uh, quite long i think it's two meter usb 3.0 to usb c so it's a usb a that plugs into your pc or your laptop or whatever device you have and then usb c that will plug into the camera right here at the back and this is the webcam it's as you can see it's quite large because all of the features that it's got and the sensor and everything so um yeah compared to my hand this is how big it is so it's one of the largest webcam i ever had it's got a privacy cap right here so if we can take it off and uh, now the lens is exposed i will suggest uh, when it's not in use just keep the privacy cover on so you will protect this delicate uh, delicate glass lens it's got it's adjustable so you can adjust it like so you can even take it off from the stand and mount it on a tripod yeah pretty much it's an uh, it's a really amazing uh, webcam i'm gonna go ahead and test it and i'm gonna show you guys the image quality uh, if you guys are interested into this by the way i will put the link into the description below right now there is an offer on amazon and you can get it for uh, below the asking price i think it's 20 30 pounds off so it's a good deal for this kind of webcam and um, yeah let's uh, let's hook it up to my pc i think i'll put it on the monitor or i will hang it here instead of the my old webcam i would either put it here or there and uh, hook it up to my pc and i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys how uh, everything looks like when it's uh, mounted and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the software as well. 
Okay guys, so I plugged in the Elgato face cam. I'm, gonna, I'm going to use my OBS uh, live streaming scenes uh, just to record this video. And um, basically this is how it looks like. I'm having it on a small screen right now. But um, yeah, the camera is amazing. It's got an amazing uh, quality. Let's go on this uh, screen right here and uh, just increase the size. Uh, it looks amazing. Look at the details. You can even see every tiny hair on my hand, every every crack in my in my palm and all that so yeah it's an amazing camera uh, but it does not look like that out of the box uh, you have to adjust it uh, in order to adjust it let's go back on the live scene right here in order to adjust it you have to go into the elgato camera hub software which is this one and uh, right now you should have a preview video right here but because i'm recording this the, the camera is occupied with the recording so from here you can adjust stuff like um, zoom so you can zoom in and out of the image what it actually does it kind of crops out the sides and it keeps the center zoomed in you can adjust the picture quality contrast saturation sharpness i found uh, this to be the best values for me exposure you can keep it on automatic it's going to be center weighted but i prefer to keep the shutter speed at uh, 1 over 120 and ISO over 200 just because of the lightning conditions I have in my room. White balance, I keep that on automatic for a more uh, consistent look. And uh, noise reduction, if you increase the sharpness right here, if you increase the sharpness, you're gonna have some noise, in, uh, especially in the high contrast areas. What noise reduction does, it, it kind of blurs out the whole image, but it's not a uh, very high blur, it's a soft blur and it's not really noticeable but uh, you get a um, softer image and just it looks it looks good for what I do so I prefer to keep it that way if you increase the sharpness to 4 you got definitely going to need a noise reduction and uh, yeah overall it's an amazing camera if you change any any of the settings if you like uh, let's say decrease the contrast if you want to decrease the contrast or uh, increase the contrast or whatever you want to do as you can see it, it shows into my my image right there you can make decrease the contrast to zero percent or increase it as you can see it um, it actually made my picture darker if you want to save these settings let's say let's keep it to 50 percent if you want to save this setting just press save here and uh, is going to be saved in the camera so next time you take the camera and plug it into a different device you're gonna have the same settings as you saved into its uh, built-in memory chip so that's quite clever and um, yeah overall overall I really like I really like this camera um, I tested uh, quite a bit of cameras until I got this one and I said um, this is one of the best cameras I ever had I would definitely recommend this for streaming as it's made for streaming so it's definitely got some features like um, it works really really well with chroma key so if you guys want to see a separate video on that let me know down in the comments as I said before I'm gonna link the camera in the comments below in the description section so if you want to buy it from Amazon right now I think Elgato offers a discount as well so you can buy it for less than uh, the MSRP price and um, yeah, I'll definitely recommend this camera. It's a great webcam. Um, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.